this is Cobalt Zed. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I haven't been on for a while, and today I want to show you what I have been doing in the world of Minecraft. I bought Minecraft Realms, and I want to show you this world. And this is also an invitation, because since this is a realm, I can have other people play on this world. And if you're listening to this and you would like to join me, uh, then I welcome you to do so. What I have done here, what I and a friend of mine in particular have done, uh, it's late afternoon, but I'll show you. We have built a medieval monastery. Now, I say medieval monastery in the sense that... Well, I have seen some people on YouTube who have built the most amazing medieval cities that you can even imagine. Uh, I'm not one of those type builders. I build for utility. There's the cathedral you can see. I'll show you. And this is what I've been doing for these past uh, weeks and months. Here's our altar. We also have an enchanting table in here and a potion making. It's a little bit empty. Um, but it looks kind of cool. Here, if you know anything about medieval monasticism, which perhaps you don't, this is called the Cloister. This is the inside area. Here's the dining hall. And where if you, for example, so I talked about this being an invitation. If you want to play on this world with me and a friend of mine who plays here with me, uh, please come at, say so in the comments below with your Minecraft name or send me an email. Uh, my email account is listed on the uh, my this page, and uh, I can, will give you an invite. I want to say in reference to invites, obviously, um, if there's any griefing or anything, a person is going to be kicked. Uh, it's a lot of time has gone into building this world. And I don't want to see it destroyed. But beyond that, let me just talk a little bit about how this would work. You know my feelings on roleplay. If you've seen my video about roleplay in Lotro, which actually is one of my most watched YouTube. Um, this is a kind of light roleplay. Um, if you joined... We have, let me talk about ranks first. This is, I have a lot to talk about and I'll try to get it all out. If you join, the first time you join, you become what we call, I call a novice. This is basically a probationary rank uh, to make sure that A, we get along and B, you aren't going to grief and tear shit apart, right? Beyond that is initiate. Beyond that is monk. Up to monk is pretty much guaranteed if, as long as a person you know is compatible beyond the monk are the leadership roles those prior a prior would be in charge of a small monastery uh, and then there's abbot who is in charge of a bigger monastery and then there's bishop who's in charge of a region and then there's archbishop who's in charge of everything <clears throat> i am currently the archbishop that may or may not change but so if you started as a novice in this world, basically you would be given some kind of a task. You would probably live in here in the in the what is basically a dormitory. This is how actual medieval monks lived. They had shared spaces. Obviously, we could probably give you a chest or something for personal items. This is the dining hall, which is very very fancy, right? I wish we could have a dining table. If some of you are great builders, maybe you can suggest how. But we basically have food items here. Not much at the moment. More meat and more fish. Lots of fish. So you would live in there and then basically you would have an assigned task. Here's the library. We have some things in there. Here's the scriptorium or bookmaking room where we store paper and etc. things necessary to make books. I write a lot of books in this game. Here's the chapter house and map room. But the other things I want to show you are back here. So here's this big warehouse. This used to be my house. 
uh, blacksmith shop, there's a forester and fishery, there's a kitchen, there's a guest house, and back here are our animals. I hope I don't get blown up by a creeper doing this. We have a fairly, I don't know, extensive is maybe not the best word, but a sizable little, <laughs> sizable and little are contradictory terms. We have a, a little setup here for farms. You know, we have two pair of breeding cows. Basically, we breed them, and then when the little ones grow up, hello, chicken. When the little ones grow up, we kill them, we slaughter them, and then we breed the cows again. So, for example, if you signed as a novice, your job might be just to tend the cows. So you would be responsible for that. Um, and you'd be surprised how fast the day goes, honestly, doing this. We have a shit ton of chickens. Here we have some mounts here. Yeah, Shadow Fax. That would be familiar to a lot of you, that name. Uh, thanks for the eggs. Thanks ever so. And we have some pigs. We had like six pigs. I named them all after uh, after dwarves. The names of the dwarves who came to visit Bilbo in The Hobbit. Uh, but they all escaped uh, during a creeper explosion. They escaped and or were killed. I think there's one or two here named Oswald. Oh, there's shit there used to be. For a while then, I named them all Oswald. And like most of these <laughs> sheep are named Oswald. Um, so basically, a person's job might be to just tend the animals. Excuse me, chicken. Why, do you want in? Are you wanting to join? I guess so. Come on in. Okay, well then don't. Chicken's just like a cat at a doorway. Uh, well, yeah, no. So, uh, back to where I was. There's a guest house. Um, so, this is our main monastery. I named this actually after this is the monastery of St. Gerl. G E E R L. And we. Oh, shit. Don't look, don't look. And this is the Order of St. Gerald that we roleplay. St. Uh, Gerald was a character I made. Uh, this is a long story, but I'll tell it quickly. When I played Oblivion, I had a monastery. I, I had a mod I made that was basically a monastery roleplay. It was called the Order of Mara. <clears throat> and Gerald was an NPC that I made who basically was an abbot for an extremely long time. He lived to a long, ripe old age, and he became a saint in the Order of Mara. So I, I spent like 300 days trying to decide on a name for this place and finally settled on the Order of St. Gerald. So that's where that comes from. Here's a chapel I built, and one of my friend's cats is in here to try to protect it from creepers. Um, and then this is my house, my big house over here. So let me talk about houses. Um, on the lower levels, you know, novice, initiate, monk, most of the time, honestly, aren't going to be able to have a separate house. We're currently, the way these are set up, uh, the separate houses are reserved for the, the higher ranks, the prior and above. Uh, but if that's a big issue, it's something we could talk about. Basically, so we have a bunch of rules, things you're supposed to do and not do. But honestly, I'm a pretty laid back person. So as long as we have fun, you know, we should be okay. So if you're interested in joining this, as I've said, let me know. Uh, this is our main facility, our kind of headquarters, if you will. We have, I have two other things that I've built like this. That's a village over there. Um, we have some villages who have quote-unquote joined. Um, as the Archbishop, I, ran, I have a routine where I visit all of the facilities once a month. So, you know, if you joined and you served here for a while and then you wanted to tra you got promoted maybe and you wanted to transfer, there are other three uh, two other places I have built. Uh, one is a smaller is a priory, which is the smallest facility we have. 
and then another one further south is a is a full monastery but without the cathedral i don't know if this appeals to anyone besides me perhaps not if it does let me know and i will throw you an invite um, I play this fairly often, uh, not necessarily daily, but pretty much daily, and sometimes I'm on for fairly long periods of time. My work schedule is fairly light right now, so I have a lot of free time, and I spend a lot of it here. Um, so if you would like to play with me, that would be awesome. I would like, you know, I think in a realm, technically, as far as I know, you can only have 20 people and only 10 on at the same time. But, you know, my op my ideal goal for this would be have to have three or four people who play and live in the three facilities we currently have. Not all on at the same time, but, you know, that would be my ideal goal. If it sounds fun to you, let me know. I'll throw you an invite and we'll see how it goes. All right. This is Cobalt Zed. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.